whether they were visiting or working there. Yeah, our Amy Frazier joins us live in Beaverton with more on this. Amy, what a day of tragedy in Beaverton. Yeah, and this is a very busy shopping center. Suddenly, this parking lot behind me was filled with police and paramedics. Customers and people out here say they did what they could to try and help. I was just trying to help in any way I could. Uh, you hate to see this stuff go down. Dylan Prickett's favorite coffee shop is next to the Wells Fargo and Planet Fitness, where police got reports late this morning that multiple people were stabbed. I arrived at the same time as the, I, I would say, the initial uh, officers. And when we got here, there was somebody holding the door open to the bank, an employee. She looked really frantic. He rushed into the coffee shop. And immediately told them, like, I cut in line. And I was like, you guys need to lock the back door. Something happened next door. Uh, I don't know what's going on yet, but make sure the back doors are locked, make sure everybody is OK. And then I went back outside. And by that time, um, the lady was still standing there. I asked her if I could be of any help or um, if she needed anything and she couldn't even talk. That's when he says paramedics brought a patient out of the bank. And they wheeled her out. Uh, it looked like something with the neck. So they, there was tons of bandages around her neck um, and more first responders and paramedics rushed in as she was coming out. So I knew something uh, really bad is happened. The manager of the Sprint store also looked on as more and more police arrived. Oh man, quiet neighborhood, quiet man. I mean, something like this to happen, you know, on a Wednesday, it's wild and shocking to see, man, for sure. Witnesses say their thoughts now are with the victims. We're about to celebrate some of the best holidays of the year, and these families or family is going to have one less person um, at the table with them, you know, so. This section of the parking lot remains closed tonight as this investigation continues. Many other businesses out here, including the Safeway, which is right over here, remains open. Reporting live in Beaverton, Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News. All right, Amy.